hour, fire crews are keeping a close eye on a problem area close to homes. Fox 5's Kasha Gorgic continues our team coverage. She is live from Lawson Valley. Kasha. And Kathleen, fire crews have been keeping a close eye on this hillside here in Lawson Valley, where there have been some hot spots. Also, a little bit of a controlled burn by fire crews because of that fear that wind tomorrow may end up pushing this fire more east toward homes and rugged terrain. I'll give you an idea of what's going on here behind me with some of these crews that have been coming up and down off of this hill. At this hour, some of those hot spots are just too small, uh, not as visible as they have been earlier. And really the hope with some of that controlled burn earlier was that they could burn up any of that fuel now in case of it picking up tomorrow. Uh, earlier today, we also spoke with a man who lives not too far from here and had actually decided to stay put for now. This valley hasn't burned in 47 years. So this valley is a tinderbox. Butch Batten has lived in Lawson Valley for the last decade. His home happens to be a good space for fire crews who have been using the property regularly since Saturday for staging and supplies. That truck is full of ice. That box truck is full of ice. It's got pallets of ice in it. And down on the ground, it's got pallets of supplies of hoses and nozzles. And, you know, they've been coming here picking up, you know, inch and a half hoses to stretch out, put out hot spots. As of Monday evening, the Valley Fire had scorched more than 17,000 acres and a few dozen structures, some near Batten's home. Fire picks and chooses. You'd think a house would burn up where it was located, like a whole bunch of woods and trees, and you'd be surprised on which ones burn and which ones don't. Batten has been staying behind because once you leave, you can't come back in due to road closures. But he says the community is extremely close and he's found a way to help those who need to get back to their properties. I've been shuttling people from the top of Wise Carver um, to instead of them walking down stuff, I just pick them up, so take them to where they need to. And a lot of them were surprised that their houses were still around, so that's pretty great. Batten also told me tonight, unfortunately, some neighbors have caught some potential looters coming into the area, so that is something for residents to be on alert about. As far as this area, we are told about five engines are going to stay here overnight to keep a close eye on things here. Again, we are uh, live in the Lawson Valley area tonight. Kasha Gregorjek, Fox 5 News.